Hello everyone, this is Claudio Covivi speaking. This is the second video in a series of four showing the integration of ConConnect Enterprise with Okta Identity Provider, implementing some OpenID Connect based authentication and authorization use cases. For this second video, I'm going to demo the authorization code flow applied to user authentication processes in the same environment I used before. And here's the ConConnect and Okta integration topology again. The Connect Enterprise Control Plane, hosted as a service, you use to create new APIs and policies, and publish them to my data plane running as a Docker container in an AWS EC2 instance. In summary, the authorization code flow goes through these steps. First of all, the user tries to consume the API. However, since the request doesn't have any token injected, Kong redirects the user to the identity provider, in our case, Okta. After the user authenticates on Okta, the provider sends the user back to Kong with an authorization code. Kong validates the parameters and then goes on with exchanging the authorization code with the tokens by calling the Okta's token endpoint. Here's the ConConnect Enterprise Control Plane Admin GUI showing the service I have created before in the Ceps Hub. The service has two routes already defined. The first one we use to show the client credentials flow. Today we're going to use the second one to apply the same OpenID Connect plugin, this time implementing the authorization code flow. In relation to Okta settings, I have already prepared an application to implement the flow. So here's the Kong authorization code application, and I'd like to highlight some of those settings. Besides the client ID and client secret we are going to use to configure the OpenID Connect plugin, the Okta app has the authorization code option turned on, as well as the uh, sign-in redirect URI set with the uh, route available in my data plane. That means the authorization code is accepted for this URI only. In fact, we're free to consume the route now since we don't have any policy applied controlling it. And now, just like we did for the client credentials flow, let's go back to connect control plane to apply the OpenID Connect plugin and then implement the authorization code flow. So the first parameter we need to set to our OpenID Connect plugin is the client ID. The second is the client secret. And the last one is the Octus issuer endpoint. we are good to create, to enable the OpenID Connect plugin to our route. And then if you try to consume the route again, since authorization code is used for user authentication, we're going to get redirected to Octa's user interface to present our credentials. Once we have presented our correct credentials, we're going to get authenticated by Okta and redirected back to the API gateway. And this time we'll be able to consume the API because we got the identity, uh, identity token injected inside our request. As a matter of fact, here's the uh, identity token Okta has issued for us. And then if you go to a jwt.io website, we can check the token. That concludes my second Kong and Nocta demo. See you in the next one. Thanks a lot. One more time.